Now we're going to style the single movie page. Open up moviesingle.html in Komodo Edit and Firefox. You'll remember that we have no link to our style sheet, style.css, in this page, and we haven't yet added the class names. So at the moment, all we have is the completely unstyled version. We really don't want to do repetitive work, so I won't ask you to type in all the class names again. Instead, close Komodo Edit and go to Chapter 0510 of the Working Files and copy moviesingle.html and paste it into htdoc's favourite movies, overwriting the current version. Open it up in Komodo Edit again and you'll see that this new version has the links to HTML shiv and print shiv as well as to our style.css and if you refresh it again in Firefox you'll see that of course most of the styling is now done. So now we can go on and just write the relatively few style declarations that we need to complete this page. You've done a lot of styling in the previous videos so a lot of what we've got to do should be familiar to you now. So for this reason I'm going to take a different approach in this lesson and ask you to write the style selectors for the parts of the HTML which I identify. I'll pause the video for a few seconds each time before I give you the answer. First we want to target this large movie image. You can see in the HTML that it has a class of movie player. So how do you target that in the CSS? Now of course you need to open up style.css for editing in Komodo Edit. As the class name's unique and we don't expect to use it anywhere else, we can just use the class name on its own. There's no need for a parent child selector. So the answer is dot movie player. This main movie image needs a width of 608 pixels and a height of 344 pixels. And this will give it a ratio of 16 to 9, a widescreen aspect ratio. Next we want to target the movie title. Here it is in the HTML inside H3 tags, which in turn are inside the movie single class. This time we need to be specific and target H3 only in this particular environment, inside the movie single area. So how do you target that in the CSS? So as we want to target H3 tags only when they occur inside the movie single class, this time we do need a parent child selector. And the answer is dot movie single space H3. Now we'll give this a font size of 1.3m and padding all round of 10 pixels. Next, write the style selector for all paragraph text, all p tags in the movie single class. So this is dot movie single space p and give this a font size of 0.8m. and padding all round of 10 pixels. Now what's the selector going to be for the movie description? We need to use a parent child selector again to distinguish this description from the one on the movie list page because the styling's different. Hopefully you got that right. It should be dot movie single space dot description. because both of them are class names, so they both need dots, and they need a space because it's a parent-child selector. We'll give this a font size of 0.75m, and this time we'll assign a minimum height of 80 pixels using the min height property, because I think this will look better if the description's very short. And we'll also justify the text in it. Add some more text in the description now in the HTML to check that it looks OK with a longer description before we go on. And that looks fine. 
Now all we've got to do is the Add To Remove From Favourites text. Go and look in the HTML and you'll notice that now we have two nested divs, an outer div with the class name Actions, which we'll use to set one set of properties for the style, and an inner one called Add Remove, to which we'll apply another set of properties to get the look that we want. So how do you target the Actions class? As it's unique, we can do without a parent child selector and just use dot actions. Give it a position relative, a height of 37 pixels, and a grey bottom border using one pixel, solid, and then hash CCC for a grey colour. Now inside that, target the Add Remove class. This time we do need to specify that this applies only when it occurs inside the Actions class, because we're going to have another Add Remove class elsewhere later. The selector is dot .actions space dot add remove. And apply to this position absolute. And write 10 pixels. This will position it inside the Actions div and over to its right. We needed to specify position relative on the Actions class in order to be able to use position absolute inside it. If you're going to use position absolute inside something, then the outer div, the containing div, has to be position relative. Now target the paragraph tag inside the Add Remove class. So that needs to be specified in its entirety, so it's dot .actions, dot .add remove, and then P. Give this a slightly smaller font size of 0.75m. Bold font weight and a grey colour, using hex code 999. And finally we'll give it a YouTube-esque hover state with a black text colour, and a bottom border, which is three pixels thick, solid, and has the color hash 993300. The height of 37 pixels on the outer div makes this bottom border line up exactly over the gray border of the actions div. That's the single movie page complete, and now we can go on to the admin pages.